pros and cons. I'm sure you already know that I'm an exceptionally gifted professional wrestler. I'm sure that you already know that I'm a well-conditioned athlete. What you may not know is that I am also a gentleman. And when I stepped into the ring with Candice LeRae, I wasn't expecting to be grabbed round the testicles in an illegal move, maneuver which they call the ballplex. Now when I look at the rules of professional wrestling, I don't see that move being allowed in. When you look at all the greats that are coming through this profession, Harley Race, Billy Robinson, William Regal, Fit Finley, Bret Hart, the list goes on. I don't think any of those gentlemen had to deal with what I've had to deal with tonight. So you can say that I lost to Candice LeRae, you can say that I was defeated by Candice LeRae, you can say she pinned my shoulders to the mat, one, two, three. But as far as I'm concerned, that loss, that match, never took place. Now moving swiftly on, as I am in it here in Target Wrestling, the key word is target. See, wherever you go as an athlete, you need a target, you need a goal, you need a purpose. And my purpose, my target, my goal is sincerely this. You look wherever Joseph Connors goes, championship goal always follows. And Target Wrestling is going to be no different. I have a goal, I have a purpose, and that is to be the next Target Champion.